What's going on guys, Danny Lanier Lawn Care and today I want to talk about we installed the Big League Lawn Stripe Kit on the Toro Grandstand about a year and a half ago so today I would like to give my one and a half year review on that stripe kit show you how the rollers have held up how has the whole system held up have I had any issues with it so we're going to jump right into this I'm going to put a link down below this link does change so I'm just going to put it in the description down below uh, uh, so if you decide you want to go buy one of these feel free to save use the code uh, we do get a small kickback from it uh, but you save 10% on your purchase so thanks for watching guys once again let's jump right into this video tell you what we think of this thing so let's get going All right guys, so it has officially been 15 months since I installed the Big League Lawn Stripe Kit on my Toro Grandstand. <clears throat> now if you notice, last year when I did my, my video on this, uh, it had already rubbed the paint off. Nothing has changed here. Uh, the paint is still rubbed off in them same exact spots. Nothing different. It hasn't gotten any worse. Nothing's rusted or anything. So uh, it literally just rubbed the paint off of that. <clears throat> as far as the stripe kit itself, um, I've never had to tighten this thing up. I've had a couple people reach out and say that, uh, ask me if I've had issues with, with it not being tight or staying tight, and I have not had any issues with tightness on this thing. Um, so I've, I've never tightened this. I had a buddy that mentioned the other day, actually, <clears throat> that uh, his had came loose um, down here on the L brackets and so uh, so I did check mine then and of course mine is still tight so uh, just make sure you tighten them real well and you know if you feel the need check them every couple of months up top where you where you mount them and uh, make sure that they're they're doing good so let's see uh, what kind of condition the wheels are in after rolling over pavement lots and lots of pavement all right so this is the right side, as you can tell. <clears throat> Guys, I've had these wheels bend crazily, I mean crazily, uh, and still nothing. I mean, these things still haven't fell off. Uh, as you can tell, after running over pavement tons and tons of times, this thing is still in very, these wheels are in very good condition still. I can honestly not believe how well these wheels um, have held up after rolling over all the pavement and stuff. I mean, you can see that they still got their grooves in there and everything. <clears throat> there are uh, two wheels on this that are having issues, and it is this far left wheel here, as you can tell, is kind of uh, rounded off a little bit from center. And so it has wore down the edge. I'm not exactly sure what caused it to do it on one side and not the other, uh, but one side of this, which is this left wheel, has, you know, rounded off. Other than that, I mean, everything else seems to be pretty good condition on this thing. Uh, I've still got all of my rubber pieces here um, everything once again is still tight uh, you know literally the only only thing that i can say bad about this is this right here uh one wheel and i'm sure i could contact them and and uh ask them for uh another wheel and then i could figure out how to uh take this off and and replace it and be back in business but uh yeah so, uh, you know, <clears throat> if you have the platform, it's probably going to rub some of your paint off. If you don't have the platform and it's, you know, right standard John Deere, something like that, and it's behind your mower, you probably ain't going to have no issues with it at all. Uh, so that's my personal opinion of this, guys. I hear a lot of people say, hey, go buy some bolt rollers and make this thing. But uh, guys, if, if you bought <clears throat> this heavy duty metal, 
and these heavy duty commercial boat rollers and uh, this U channel and everything and put it together, you're gonna end up spending about the same amount of money. So, uh, you know, in my personal opinion, yes, you could build this yourself uh, and buy the heavy duty commercial boat rollers like these are made out of, you're gonna be looking at about $15 a roller. So, you know, this one right here, for example, for a 48 inch has uh, four, seven, um, <clears throat> 11 to 13 rollers on it. So 13 rollers at about 15 bucks a piece, then uh, whatever your U channel, and then all of your hardware and stuff's gonna cost to do this. Probably just save the time, buy the big league lawns one, and install it quickly, and not have a lot of time or the same amount of money pretty much invested in it. Just my personal opinion once again. But uh, guys, if you have any questions, comment down below. Let me know. If you've had any issues with yours, comment down below. Let me know. Uh, you know, hey, things happen and tighten them up, check them every couple months, see what's going on. It's been uh, literally 15 months since I've put mine on and I just literally checked my bolts uh, and I didn't have any issues with anything that had came loose. So. Hopefully this helps you in your opinion of whether or not you want to buy this. I will tell you if you're looking to make very defined stripes, this thing is freaking fabulous. Uh, there's not a broom or anything in the world that you could put uh, behind your mower or anything like that. I mean, you're talking about 50 pounds of rolling going on to pull that grass over. So uh, I've got properties that are two inches that stripe, two inches. Uh, this thing has striped weeds. I mean, it's just insane how well this thing actually stripes, but think of the weight you've got on it as well. So, all right, so I hope y'all enjoyed that one and a half year review. Question is, are you ready to dominate your stripe game? If so, don't forget, there is a link down in the description and uh, that link will change. That code does change oh, every couple months or so, so uh, be watching for that.